Hey there Minecraft adventurers, are you ready to take your blocky world building to the next level? Well, in today's video, we're diving into the ultimate guide on how to install Vivecraft, the mod that brings Minecraft into VR. Whether you're exploring vast landscapes, battling mobs, or building the base of your dreams, Vivecraft transforms the experience by putting you right inside the world of Minecraft using virtual reality. In this video, we'll walk you step by step through the setup process for the latest version of Minecraft, so you can jump straight into the action with your VR headset. Now make sure to stay all the way to the end of the video because I will be showing you all the button controls on camera and I'll be showing you how to tweak the game to your liking. Please make sure you like and subscribe if this video has been helpful. I will soon be releasing a video on how to optimize the game by setting Optifine and other texture packs to make this game look incredible in VR. So without further ado, stay tuned strap on let's get ready so i think it goes without saying that the first thing you need to do is download the launcher for minecraft for the java edition for windows 10 or 11 and once you have downloaded it you need to run it and install it and obviously once you've run it and installed it make sure that you log in to your minecraft account now here you can see I'm in my Minecraft account and I'm at the launcher and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Java edition, I'm going to choose the latest release and then I'm going to play it at least once and it's very important that you do that so that Minecraft can create all the files required for this to work. If you've played Minecraft already in the past and you've played the latest version you won't need to do this but if this is a brand new install, you will. Now, this is not mandatory, but I decided to jump in a quick game just to make sure that the game is working correctly. And I'm happy with everything, so I'm going to save and exit, and I'm going to head straight back to my desktop. Now, of course, you're going to need to connect your headset to your computer, and you're going to need to connect your headset to Steam VR. So head over to Steam download Steam VR and connect them all together. Whether you're using the Index or whether you're using the Quest 3, it's the same process. You're going to need to connect to Steam VR. It's a fairly simple process and there are lots of guides online, but if I go over here and I go to Steam View, I should be able to see my Steam VR home. Here it is right here. And now we're going to close Steam VR for the moment and head over to the next step. Now, if you look at the links in the description, you're going to see the link for the installation for Fabric. And once you've downloaded it, we're going to install it. And during the installation process, we need to make sure that we have the correct version for Minecraft and the correct version for Vivecraft. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to head over to our next link, which is the link for the Vivecraft download, and we're going to check the latest version. And luckily for us, the latest version of Vivecraft is the latest version of Minecraft. So we're going to set them accordingly. Now make sure that Create Profile is selected and push install. It'll take a couple seconds. Now with that installed, we're going to go over to the Vivecraft for Fabric, and that's this link right here. We're going to push download and we're going to leave that in our downloaders folder for the time being. The next thing we need to download is the API for Fabric. And what we're going to do is head over to that link and the link will be in the description as mentioned before. Now on this page, if we select download, which is right next to install, just push download, you'll get a pop up. Now don't change the game version. Don't change the mod loader version. Just push download. That's the version that we want. Now what we need to do is head over to our mods folder. So we're going to go to the search bar, type in percent, app data, percent, and then click on the file folder. And from there at the top, you will see dot Minecraft. Inside that folder, you'll have a mods folder. Now there's another way to do this. If we close this window, I can hold in the Windows button and type R and that'll open up the run command. Now from here, what I can do is type percent app data and then percent and then forward slash and then dot Minecraft. Those are two ways of getting to that folder. However, 
it's up to you how you choose to do it. Now, once we're in that folder, we need to find our mods folder. Now, there's not always going to be a mods folder here. So for all intents and purposes, I'm going to delete it to show you that you can quite simply just make a new folder and call it mods and Minecraft will know what to do with it. Now here I have my mods folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to open up another window for my downloads. Now remember those two downloads that we downloaded earlier, the API and also Vivecraft. All we need to do is drop them into our mods folder and hey, we're pretty much ready to go guys. And now what we need to do guys is connect our VR headset to our computer using Airlink and then we need to run Steam VR. And here you can see it running in the background. Now with this running, what we need to do is head over to our Minecraft launcher and launch it. Now you're going to see a new button there and that's going to be our fabric launcher, which we've just installed. So let's let this load up. Here it is. And here you can see it's got a little error code on it. That error code, it's more of a warning and it's just basically saying, hey, this is a new install. We don't know what it is, but don't worry guys, this is our VR install. From there, we can go ahead and push play. Ignore the warning, it's just saying this is a file that we don't recognize, and that's because Vivecraft is not directly affiliated with Minecraft. Now it's going to start to prepare, it's going to start to launch everything, and hey presto, we are in VR. Now the first time you launch it, you won't actually be in VR. You'll be on a menu very similar to this. If you do not reach this menu, I would re-watch this video and make sure you haven't missed any steps. There is a button here called VR off. If you toggle it, it'll put you into VR. And you won't have to do it every single time. You just have to do it the first time. Now, just a little bit of troubleshooting. You may come across this bug. If you cannot touch any of the buttons or start the game, if you're stuck like I am over here and your controllers are not effective, it's because the Minecraft games window is not expanded. So look at your monitor and make sure that it is fully expanded so that you can actually push buttons. And there we have it, guys. It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to make myself a little game. I'm going to pop in and I'm going to show you the controls. I'm also going to show you the core mechanics of the game. So if you looked at my left arm, you'll see my hotbar, you'll see my hunger and you'll see my health. And that's very important. Now, if I want to cycle through my hotbar items, I just need to use the grip button on the right or the grip button on the left. And here I am in game, guys. And I just want to show you a couple of buttons real quick, which will make your life a little bit easier. If you look at my right hand controller, if I were to push the B button, then I would be put into the menus. And in the menus, you can change your controls, you can change your VR options, and you can change everything that you need. I would highly recommend having a look at it. It is super, super useful. And there are hundreds and hundreds of options. Now this game does have a seated mode, but honestly, it is better playing it standing. It has an auto jump mode as well. Although if you do want to jump by yourself, it is the left analog stick. The controls are actually very intuitive and pretty easy to pick up. And after about 10 minutes of playing, I was playing it pretty much like I would on the PC. So just stick to it and you'll get used to it. Now guys, thank you for watching the video. I really do hope that it was helpful. If it was, as always, please like and subscribe. It really does help me and the channel out. Now stay tuned guys as well because I will be dropping a bunch more content that is related to this and hopefully very soon you'll be able to play this game in VR with Optifine, new textures, new resolutions and some crazy looking graphics. So stay tuned, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.